Hey everyone, this is gonna be uh, part two of the uh, video of me answering your questions. As uh, I've already said before, I have uh, done answers to your questions before. This one, I decided to take a little bit different approach. Uh, and in this part two of the uh, two-part series, I am discussing the uh, questions that raise questions or comments that raise questions themselves uh, maybe with the exception of one that was actually a legitimate question uh, so enjoy next uh, this is the video uh, finally we're gonna shift gears here a little bit this is the video of me back in 2015 when I gave the lecture about why you should always refuse the field sobriety tests and uh, uh, the breathalyzer Debra Fiores or Flores, I'm not sure, it looks like Fiores, writes, Hi, nice work. Can you talk about recreational vehicles? Vehicles. Vehicles. I, I don't English today, I'm sorry. Um, Debra Fiores writes, Hi, nice work. Can you talk about recreational vehicles? Uh, Non-commerce versus driven a motor vehicle if you can thank you god bless uh so this is actually a question that, that i got weaved in here i didn't realize um can you talk about recreational non-commercial versus driven a motor vehicle i'm not really sure what you're referring to here um deborah if you're referring to like uh, a motor vehicle like a car that that we most of us are well very well familiar with you know, uh, driving on the uh, the highway. You're if you're referring to like riding an ATV or uh, we'll we'll not we'll not touch motorcycle because motorcycle is too close to um, a car in that sense. So you're I think you're talking about like ATVs or dirt bikes or anything of that nature. So that's a fascinating question actually, and you don't even realize how fascinating it is because. Uh, the answer is going to be different depending on which jurisdiction you're in. What do I mean by that? For instance, Kentucky and Ohio, uh, although we're neighboring states, the laws are very, very different. And I don't remember off the top of my head because it's been like four years since I had the case. But in a nutshell, um, Kentucky defines a motor versus non-motor um, vehicles differently than do other states Ohio being one of them like for instance in ours even though tractor uh, as in tractor that pulls like a hay stack or uh, is a, a, a mowing uh, 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 machine or whatever baler uh, is not included in the statute it actually had to come from a case law from a judge a judicial excuse me judicial decision to supplement it to explain that driving a tractor under the influence is against the law um an atv in one county this is how crazy it is some counties will consider atvs not because of the law because they read the law differently because it's more rural you see so the answer is versus like if you ride an atv under the influence on your yard in in kentucky uh it's going to be different from if you're riding an ATV in Ohio. Uh, and again, in Kentucky, it also matter is a DUI depending on which county in Kentucky you are and how they apply and look at the law because then uh, personal experience uh, comes into play. Also, and here's another thing, Ohio, Kentucky, I know New Jersey is different from New York, is different from Illinois, and potentially different from Tennessee is where did the driving occur so a vehicle it's kind of difficult to drive off-road but if you're in an atv or a dirt bike you could be in your backyard okay in kentucky the law states anywhere in the state new jersey i'm almost certain this is new jersey you can look it up you got internet um obviously you're watching this video um in new jersey the law states that you have to be operating on uh, a highway or um, some other it, 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 i think it has the word highway i'm not 100 percent sure i can't remember anymore but uh the point is where did the dui occur geographically 
is going to matter, number one. And number two, it will also matter as to what was the ground underneath, depending on what the law says. So in New Jersey, if you ride an ATV on the grass in your own backyard under the influence, maybe you can't get charged. Uh, in Kentucky, you can 100% because it says anywhere in the state. Um, other states exclude private property. Some states exclude uh, parking lots. I think that became less and less frequent. Um, but yeah, this is literally a question, believe it or not, that could vary not only state to state, but county to county, depending on their tradition and history. So thanks for that question, Deborah. On my uh, closing video of the uh, Hardin County DUI case that I won where I got the five minute uh, not guilty verdict back in 2015, Just the Tip Gaming says, yeah, let's get drunks off, let them potentially doing it again, great grammar, and killing someone, to be honest, if you're caught drunk driving, the cops should be able to put a bullet in the person's head right then, no trial, no courts. Okay. Um, shall we move on? No, I want to respond. <laughs> um, so execute drunk drivers. Interesting proposition. Uh, violates every law, I think. Maybe since... What was that guy's name? Draconian. Draco. Mr. Draco. I think he... This, this sounds like Mr. Draco from ancient uh, Greece. He had execution. He thought, actually, uh, for most of you who may not know who Draco was, I forgot his first name. Um, but that's where we get the term uh, draconian laws. It comes from him. And draconian law is a law that is extremely harsh. Extreme, it, it, the, basically, the punishment does not fit the crime. Okay, so let's say you spit on somebody and, and for that you're executed. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. How, how can you get executed? So it's the same thing. Uh, put a bullet, the cop should just basically execute every drunk driver he, he pulls over. Um, Draco, that's what Draco had. He basically wanted, um, he thought, that was the precept actually. That was the first attempt at maybe uh, what we would today, I guess, would call uh, reform of the law. Uh, his was uh, a very extreme attempt, uh, which failed miserably and very quickly, but unfortunately a few people suffered. When I say a few, it may have been tens, maybe hundreds, maybe thousands, we don't know. i never done the research on this, but uh, maybe you guys can drop it in the comments below, that would be interesting. Um, Draco uh, had execution uh, as a punishment for basically everything, theft, uh, uh, burglary, robbery, um, Basically, any, pretty much any crime you can think of, other than maybe like a very, very, very petty misdemeanor, uh, would be death. Basically for everybody. So, uh, he thought that would deter, that was his main goal, was deterrence. Uh, to deter people from committing the crimes. Well, here's the problem. It didn't work. Uh, people still kept committing crimes. That was not, because why? You guys know the answer. I'm not gonna get caught. I'm smart. I'm good. I'm sneaky. Nobody's gonna know. I'm gonna steal that and nobody's gonna know. Well, guess what? People were getting caught. And they were getting executed over it. And the public was unhappy. So I think they ended up executing Draco. If he was not excommunicated, he was executed. I don't remember, but um, yeah, that didn't work. So just the tip gaming. Um, I think the name says it all, doesn't it? Um, that's extreme. I don't know why anyone would even write something like that, but when I saw it, I was like, I have to talk about it. That's that's just marvelous that we have people like that out there. But Okay, moving on. Uh, same video. Uh, in this one, uh, this is the, the five minute uh, victory, uh, not guilty verdict that I had in Hardin County. Moving on to the next comment. Uh, this is, again, the DUI that I got dismissed for the 16-year uh, military captain 
uh, in Hardin County, Kentucky. Mike Kemp writes, It makes no sense what the captain said. The captain did not testify, but okay. As every cop knows, but not DUI drivers, the longer they delay is not to their advantage. As more alcohol enters the bloodstream, delaying it by an hour would have been to the police's advantage. In the UK, drivers at Christmas are often done the morning after on their way to work, having not drunk for 10 hours. DUIs think delaying helps it don't as the corrupt captain knew well so i think basically the gist of the comment is delaying it helps it maybe maybe not uh depending on when the alcohol was ingested uh the curve kind of looks like this uh or maybe more along the lines of this the alcohol curve it all depends where you stop drinking because if you stop drinking here then yes you're on the down slope but if you stop drinking here, you may still be rising, okay? And if you get tested here versus you getting tested here, well, guess what? It's better to get tested here, right? Because the result is gonna be lower. But if you get tested an hour or an hour and a half later, you may still be uh, processing the alcohol, or even if you're just above the cusp, you may still be, or over the cusp, excuse me, uh, you may still be over what you were, but eventually you will get here, but the laws, really don't allow you to get to this point because usually at that point the result is inadmissible anyway um so good point not correct thanks for playing mike well uh this is the end of part two of my two-part series uh, i hope you all enjoyed it uh, like i said there is no uh comment that i think that shouldn't be explored you know uh, I understand the frustration and I see obviously it's a minority but some people do make me out to seem like a, a demon or a monster or whatever which is entirely not true and we all know I can see I understand people I understand I can see through the comments okay um, this is not me trying to change your mind by the way by any means I know I won't and I don't want to you hold on to your beliefs maybe except Mr. Draco, um, who wants to execute every DUI driver. But other than that, uh, I respect your beliefs. I respect your opinions. You have, you're all entitled to them. So I just wanted to take this time to answer them for maybe other people who may be of the same opinion uh, and uh, the majority of people who maybe wanted some entertainment. So uh, this is the end of part two. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, your comments are very important to me. Please, please, please le drop a comment below. Tell me what you want to see. Uh, what do you want to see next? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to talk about? Uh, it could be something maybe about not DUIs as long as it's related to don't ask me questions about domestic violence and maybe stuff like that. I just, I, I'm not going to research the law for you, okay? Uh, I'm a specialist and this is all I do. So like, comment, subscribe, drop a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Later, everybody. Right then, no trial, no courts. Actually, you know what? Cut that out. I, I don't want to give out my strategy. I'm giving. I'm talking too much. Uh, to cut that out. I don't. I'm talking again. What the hell am I getting into, man? Like, well, I do not need this shit public. You know what I'm saying? You're sitting there going like, wow, I'm learning a lot about Larry Foreman, right? Mm -hmm. And I hope to see you all in the next video. No, sh I forgot. <sighs> all right, we got two intros, we got two closings, we got like maybe 11 or so questions. Is this a hearing? You know what I mean.